Hey guys, been a while since the video, but not a lot's been going on. Um, Commodore's still exactly as you've seen it when it first got put on the road. I haven't even put the CD player in it yet, been a bit slack. Um, just been for a bit of a drive today and picked up some crap that I've been meaning to pick up for a while. So, oh, this is the third load I've brought home today. Um, alloy held and engine cover. Should get a bit for that on eBay. Um, big box for Seegers, Nintendos and a couple other things. They'll go on eBay, hopefully tonight. I'll get a bit of time to put them up there. Let's have a look what's in the back and then we'll have a quick look in the backyard. I've got an old heavy duty battery charger. Hopefully I can get that working. 6 and 12 volt. And low and high charge rate. Standard Victor. Um, about that, got some visitors. Huh? So I've got this heavy duty charger, Victor mower that's going to scrap once you pull the engine off. Um, it's a Scott Bonner frame with a Honda engine on it. So I'm just going to swap that with another guy for some stuff. Here's one I like, it's got an old um, Kirby engine on it. It's an old HG Palmer mower. And an 8 horsepower Briggs & Stratton firefighting pump. And I've got the engine covers and everything that goes with it. Very waterproofed engine that, so happy with that score. Alright, we'll go up back and have a look at the other shit. I've got a new shit up since last video. It's only a little one. Um, I scored this today. It's C solid, but I don't think there's that much wrong with it. Got that at an auction clearing sale for five bucks the other day. They're both two horse Briggs, oh, Briggs and Stratton, so I'll okay. go. Restoring this for a friend of mine. Got the engine all sorted out, almost. Just waiting for head gasket to turn up. Um, put a new crankshaft in it and just clean the rest of it up. Um, got these big villiers at the same clearance sale the other day for 10 bucks. It's a Mark 25, fairly big one. Got the Norton villiers there at a Wagga swap meet not long back. Got that in Mark 20 there for, um, I think it was 80 bucks a pair, so that's pretty good. And I've got this Victor Vortex. They're ugly as, but there's a bit of history behind them. So I finally got a good one. I'm just going to clean it up and put it into storage. Got this at farm clearing sale. It's an old Victor pump. Um, what farms would have done is sat that in the river or in their dam, pumped water out. It's only a transfer pump, I think. Someone correct me if I'm wrong, but that was only... I think it was 30 bucks I got it for. I only wanted the engine off it, but I'll keep the pump for something. Got this Suzuki two stroke Rover lawnmower. They're pretty powerful when they're running, so I'll put that engine onto a new frame and we'll be good. And a couple more things out the front. Got this Opel car engine. Looks almost the same as an old Camira motor. But anyhow, it's probably going to go for scrap, but. It's fairly heavy, so I might get something for it. Either that or I'll take it to the swap meet next year. I've got a stall there next year, so and hock it off. It's not seized, and I don't know why it was pulled out, but I guess it's in rebuildable condition. There's lots of sensors and shit on there. So if I sell that at the swap meet, I'll be happy if I just get minimum money for it. And lastly, over the back here, got stuff everywhere, there's stuff I've missed in the video from up and back but we'll do stuff on that later on. Got this Kawasaki generator, there's a missing starter off it, it's just got no spark so hopefully I can get that going. I'll use that to power some lights out in the shed. And is there anything else down the side of the house? Oh, I picked up that ages ago. Got that at the garage sale for five bucks. That will restore quite nicely. Got this engine, I've got a guy coming down from Canberra to swap me a whole heap of stuff for other mowers and stuff, so he can have that. And got this Briggs and Stratton here that's taken a major shit. Alright, so keep an eye out for the videos to come. Thanks for watching.